So magnets are only attracted to other magnets and objects that are made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. Iron Man is made out of plastic, but Iron Man is made out of iron. We are so punny. Do, I need to do the banner thing. Sure. Okay. Go. So, objects that are not affected by the magnet's field are called non-magnetic. What do you notice when the two magnets are placed next to each other? Do they attract or do they repel? Does it depend on the position of the magnets? The magnets have two poles, north and south. Like or similar poles repel each other, while opposite poles will attract. Let's see that again, only with south poles. Magnets will have a north and a south pole, or they could have a positive and a negative pole. Okay, so if we look at a paper clip by itself sitting on the table, it's not magnetic, right? You can't take one paper clip and pick up another paper clip with it. They are non-magnetic. However, you can force a paper clip to become magnetic. This is called induced magnetism. Oh, we're getting close. There we go. Depending on the strength of the magnet, you can pick up different numbers of paper clips. It looks like four is gonna be as much as it lets. Okay guys, when we talked about induced magnetism, so if we're looking at a normal everyday object like a paper clip that is not magnetic and we look very closely at the electrons in these um, materials, they look somewhat like this. They're kind of scattered all over the place. However, if it comes into contact with something with a magnetic field, we create this induced magnetism that makes all the electrons line up. Okay, we call these domains and these are what these look like. Action. So later you guys are going to have to match some pictures of this activity, so pay close attention. We will screenshot them for you. So what I have is some iron filings. So look at the shape that the iron filings take when there is no magnet placed near, near it or under it or over it. Action. Now let's look at the shape that the iron filings take when they are placed over the magnet. So we'll put a magnet underneath there. Notice the iron shavings start to take the shape of the magnetic field of the magnet. That's amazing. Looking at this, where do you think the strongest part of the magnetic field is? Action. Now let's look at how the iron filings or how they take shape when we have two like poles facing each other. So as we add the iron filings, look what happens to the magnetic field lines when two like poles are placed next to each other. Now let's look at the iron filings when you have two unlike poles or opposite poles facing each other. Poles aren't touching. The magnets are not touching underneath. What happens to the magnetic field lines when opposite poles are placed next to each other? Now we're gonna look at how distance affects magnetic force. Here we have one index card between the magnet and the paper clip. And now we have eight. Eight! Oh, oh, oh mag between the magnet and the paper clip. And it still sticks. And now we have eight times two is 16. Um, 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 
16. And it still dangles. Eight more. Eight more. Gives us 24. And it still dangles. Eight more gives us... 36. Oh, wait. Um, three, 22. 14.2. 3.14. A whole lot. A lot. And then even more. It We're still dangles. It's still going. That's amazing. This is, the suspense is killing me. So as distance increases, <gasps> oh, what I happens fell. to the magnetic force? Oh, move, oh, it over, move it over this way just, just a little bit. It's not strong enough. What happened? And we have too much distance. So the stronger the distance, or the shorter the distance, or the longer the distance? Or, or the longer the distance, the shorter the magnet. Never mind. We're good. Action. And as always, misuse of laboratory equipment will lead you to a lab misconduct ticket. Please take care of the magnets. Come on, Mary. Now what are we going to do? You broke it. Put it back it. together. Put it back together? It won't work that way. How can I just put it together? Because they don't lose their magnetism. They always have a north and a south pole. So even though this one says north on it, it works just like it? So I, or like a regular magnet by itself? Yes, it so still we has a north and it still has a south. So we have two magnets instead of one. Yes, and this is now north and this is south. So when I put this north to this south, it will go together. Yes, because opposites attract. And if I turn it around this way, I've got a south and a south. Because of like. And it won't go together. Sides repel. Here, Miss Persley. I got a ticket. Wah, wah. Diego, Bryce, Landon, pay attention. <laughs>